This podcast is meant for mature audiences only and contains strong sexual language. All right. Welcome to the Black and Kinky Lifestyle Podcast. Pandemic Boy. edition. Pandemic edition. Damn, we've been complaining about 2019. 2019 really wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I mean, when you really when you really think about it, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, I hope everybody's staying so safe out there. Um, this has touched everything. There is nothing quite immune to the effects of these shutdowns. I mean, like, are people still fucking? I mean, not like their partners, but like fucking other people. Because like all the clubs in our area have shut down. All the parties are shut down. Right. So I don't know. Um, I don't think people are fucking other people because of this social distancing thing. I mean, they're probably still smashing their partners. Um, I think at this point, even the porn stars aren't fucking each other. Right. They did shut down porn, didn't they? Yeah, I, I'm sure they did. Although there's a hell of a library available. <laughs> well, yeah, they shut down porn production, not like right availability of porn. Because that would suck during a pandemic and qu- yeah. self-quarantine. <laughs> that would not work for anybody. <laughs> anybody. Um, all right. So what else has been going on? I mean, I guess, um, I hope people are practicing social distancing. I mean, it's easy to do when you're running a podcast. Yeah. Uh, there were some things that we did have planned for the next two weeks that we had to cancel. I was really excited about some, some things that we were going to do Yeah. with some of our friends. Um, we had some shows. We yeah. had some dates. Yeah. And it just all went away. Yeah, we just had to had to cancel everything. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope this doesn't last as, uh, I mean, the people are talking about like 18 months. I hope it doesn't last that long. Mm. I hope by the time we're doing our next episode, things have gotten better. Hopefully. Um, but we will, uh, we'll see about that. Anyway, uh, before this pandemic did hit, we did have an opportunity to um, uh, to do our uh, all male panel, um, and so in this episode, uh, you know, we decided to, to to do this a little differently. Um, so instead of just like airing that episode, I really wanted to have um have us actually the bell and i listen to it um and talk about um you know listen to it with you guys um and then you know give our two cents um and reactions and just reflections on what um what the guys had talked about in the group um i'll probably be talking less and asking bell more questions because i was actually there as part of this group Mm mm-hmm I mean, Belle, are, have you been looking forward to this thing? I mean, what are some of the things you think you're going to hear? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really get to hear the discussion as it was happening live. I heard, I was, I mean, I was in the house, uh, <laughs> but I heard lots of laughter. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing the guy's opinion on some things. You know, it's it's interesting what you all talk about when we're not around. So I want to just. Um, uh, you know, say that there were certain segments uh, that I broke this up into. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna be just running through um, just specific uh, topics that we talked about. So before we start, I'd like to uh, announce a couple of our winners for the um, uh, a more getaways membership giveaway. Uh, remember, you can be entered into a chance to uh, get a three-month free membership with a more getaways membership uh, if you leave us a uh, rating on iTunes or wherever you get your podcast. Um, and I'd just like to uh, announce two winners. We have uh, one uh, iTunes listener uh, goes by the la- name of Lex E. Cal Writer. I can't even see that. Lex Lex E. Calright. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sure that this has some kind of funny meaning that I'm not getting right now. Um, and also, uh, Tropic at um, 
just just tropic you know who you are you left us a rating on um the 9th of march um yo just send us an email at blank and kiki lifestyle at gmail.com um and we will make arrangements to make sure you get that free membership um uh, again, for those of you who want to get down with a more getaways membership, uh, just enter in offer code black and kinky and get 25% off. Okay, so let's jump into it. All right, so basically, um, so what I'll start off with is basically the introduction. I mean, you know, we uh, just sat down and um, I had the guys just talk a little bit about themselves. Um, but the, let's just take a listen to how this episode began, and then I will, um, I'll give the mic to Bell to respond. You ready? Yeah. Lana! Together, uh, I got together a group of guys um, uh, to talk about the experience of being in the lifestyle as a black husband, because all of us are married. So say mm-hmm. hello, fellas. What up? What up? What's going on? Peace. Um, so, uh, so I decided to do this episode because um, I got to be honest. I have. Um, looked all over, well, not all over, because I don't have a really strong attention to detail, but I've, I've looked and I could not find a lot of podcasts that actually featured a group of black men or black husbands that were talking specifically about sex at all, let alone the lifestyle. I haven't seen it a lot. I don't know. Have, has anybody here ever see, seen a lot of that? Not at all. No. no. I haven't. Uh... No, it's not that you don't think about it, but no. it's like, like if you think about the sex positive community, <laughs> <laughs> that could be it. That could be it. But if you think about like the sex positive community, the sex positive like education community, it is predominated by black women. Like yeah. I see a, there are a lot of them. Um, so that's why I did the show, but I'm going to give uh, folks an opportunity to introduce themselves. So. Uh, we could just go around the table. We're literally in my living room right now with like fucking Coronas. Um, shout out to the coronavirus. <laughs> um, Cheers. Uh, but um, just, uh, tell the listeners how long you've been in the lifestyle. What's the play style for you and your wife? Describe your body type. Greetings all. I'm Mr. Black, uh, one half of the blacks. Uh, our play style is full swap. Been in the lifestyle now for going on a little over three years and my body type i would say muscular but solid muscular but solid he looks like a linebacker yeah okay very strong big guy (laughs) you get in a fight with him you might be in a coma so that's mr black (laughs) peace greetings mr moore representing the moors of course uh my wife and i we've been dabbling in the lifestyle i think Oh, wow. Almost 20 years. But we didn't really know what it was. We were just having kind of fun in college. Yeah, uh, body type. Man, it's, if he, if, if Mr. Black's a linebacker, um, I'm on the kicking squad as the kicker. <laughs> I am the punter. <laughs> hey, there's all, there's, there's love for all types of body shapes okay. in the lifestyle. Um, you have a Bob Marley thing going on. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I like, I love natural things, so I keep my hair naturally long. I I, I have a beard. Uh-huh. So if you close your eyes and you imagine a Rasta, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yes, yes. Um, I have yet to see Mr. Amor angry, ever. Uh, <laughs> your man is always chill, smooth. real smooth. If you ever go to Amor's events, you will meet Mr. Amor. Cool. Um, all right, and Mr. Jackson. Yes, uh, Mr. Jackson, length in the lifestyle. It's always a tricky question. Uh, five six. or six mm-hmm. years at this point. Um, play style is, uh, I mean, full swap, but with contingencies. <laughs> <laughs> um, body type, average. He's lying. <laughs> He's lying. He's not average. <laughs> and, okay, uh, so if, 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 if Mr. Black is a linebacker, Mr. Jackson is more of like an NBA, like point guard. Nah, I'm putting him in that linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> I say running back. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. Uh, 
and we met in the lifestyle. So it's like I don't have like a our re- our, our relationship doesn't have a frame of reference without it. So it's uh I don't know the, the journey has been a little bit different <laughs> relationship and lifestyle wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, but transition from being a single guy to it's just been uh, it's been easy. Like, mm-hmm. to be honest with you, mm-hmm. I mean, because I've seen it all <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, I've done it all. And, you know, my approach is, you know, way different. It's been, a, it's been an easier transition for me. So how long were you in it as a single guy? Probably like three or four years. So, like, was it easier connecting with ladies as a single guy versus connecting as a couple? It's been I can't say one was easier than the other. Mm-hmm. It's different, though, okay. because like. And as a couple, I have a wingman. You know what I mean. So I, I get, I'm, 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 I'm presented more opportunities uh, as a, as being in a couple, right? Not necessarily presented opportunities. Like I'm just, it's easier to get in the rooms. But like as a single guy, like it wasn't like super hard, but it's like you have to. You have to think about more. And I was a picky single guy, no, right? You know what I mean? So like, single guy. But I was like, standards. wait, a picky single guy? That's a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, like it wasn't because it wasn't like I couldn't. It, I wasn't a single guy because I couldn't have sex, right? So because mm-hmm. that's. That's a, I mean, we all know, like, if you talk to a single guy, like, and then you finally, like, talk to him, you're like, oh, like, you fumble it in your regular life. <laughs> right. That's you and so and you're in the lifestyle here. because it's kind of like, it can be handed to you. It, right. If you can mask who you are for 45 minutes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's a little bit different mm-hmm. for me. Um, so as, as some of our listeners might know, uh, I had actually decided to, um, throw out some, throw, you know, let people know that we were going to have like a, a black husband panel on the show. Uh, and I asked them to send in their questions. I didn't think we would get as many as we did. Mm-hmm. Um, we got so many, I had to take some of my questions out and replace them with some of the questions we got from the audience because they were so much better because our audience is very cool. Um, and so, um, you know, we're going to get into those questions. I have a few segments, but we, you know, we'll jump all over the place, I'm sure. But before that, we have to do my hit list. We have to do our hit list. So you guys, black, no, not black female politicians. I'm sorry, any politician. I don't care, whatever she is. Um, so your hit list. So remember, for those of us, uh, for those of you who are just, if this is your first time listening, the hit list is basically when we talk about the people that we would like to bang. Honestly, the only reason why I came up with this is because the election is out there right now. People are voting. I don't know about you, but sometimes I vote based on the attractiveness. <laughs> le- no, nah, I don't do that. I'm kidding. I do not do that. Um, but there have been, there are some hot female politicians out there. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't, don't say mine, man. I know what you're going to say. No, hold All on. Right. Hold, go ahead, Mr. <laughs> uh, Moore. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> I thought you. So I got two. I you got you two. Got two? <laughs> okay. I got two. That's not fair, man. Look, you name one. Come right on! Now. I don't know when I'll be back on this show. No, you name one. We'll come back to you okay. after I name mine. You name one, okay. and then I'll, we'll come back to you. And she just got a divorce, but I think she just got a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> but the the Somalia sister Omar, I believe her last name is. Mm. Where where is she? Who's I think she? she's she's one of the new. Oh, she's like um. She's one of the new. Uh, she's a congresswoman or something. Yeah, that came with the new young bloods. Yeah, the the uh, I can't the squad right. Yeah, she's oh part yeah, of the squad. In fact, I'm team squad. So number two is on the squad too. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. No, I'll, I'll let you go ahead. ahead. Oh, actually, I I think I know. Okay, so if she's on. Does that? What about you two gentlemen? Is she is is the girl y'all want to smash on the squad? Well, I don't know what the squad is. Okay, then we gonna come back. You don't know what the squad is. No, no. You don't watch CNN. No, no not sorry. really. <laughs> uh, I don't believe I'll the bucks. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'm gonna go next. Um, unless you guys know who you. Who, I know who I want. Oh, who, who? So, Mr. Black, who's on your hit list? I will have to go with Amanda Edwards. Um, Amanda Edwards. Yeah, I just googled her real quick. <laughs> uh, she's sexy as fuck. I ain't gonna even lie. She's out of Texas. Mm-hmm. Um, she's striving to become the first. Oh, she's black bad. Oh my God, look at those Senator lips. Out of Texas, she's like a young Rosie Perez. Red bone, or she looked like she's Mexican and black almost. But uh, 
Oh, damn. They got, if you Google her, you can see some nice-ass pictures of her. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at them right now. So, uh, yeah, that's who that's who. Very nice. Money. Very nice. That's my type. Good, 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 good pick. Good and pick. me and Mrs. Black got the same type, so, you know. Okay. So, you, 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 so the Blacks are going to be giving Amanda yeah, Edwards a call. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, she is very nice looking. Actually, she looks like a few decent looking celebrities. Um, all right. Are you, uh, are you ready, Mr. Jackson? I have to ask a clarifying question first. They can be dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> all right. Relax. <laughs> uh, Michelle Obama does not count. Michelle Obama counts. Come on. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, her or jo- Johanna Hayes? Johanna Hayes? J-A. Oh, okay. She's a little bit, she got a little bit of a MILF thing going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. She's nice. She's nice. Oh, she got some nice lips, too. You know how I feel about lips. Um, nice little lineup. So, my, uh, my hit list woman will be Marilyn Mosby. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Mosby. So, she was the mayor of, like, uh, she, she's Baltimore. the state's attorney for Baltimore. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, first time I saw her was unfortunately during a yeah, yeah, police yeah. shooting. Um, but she kind of reminds me of this character who was on The Wire. Did you, did you guys all watch mm-hmm. The Wire? So do you remember there was this light-skinned black chick that was like in the, maybe like towards the second to the last season, who she was button heads with the, the, the detective on there. Cause, oh, I have to go uh, back. Yeah, I can't remember what her name Wait, was. Who? who was your other person? Man, the... The AOC, man. Oh, hey, yeah, man. I, hey. thought. I thought that was Chico. <laughs> nah, I thought yeah. that went without saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, no, I yeah. actually think she'd be quite annoying for some reason. I don't know. I just, I have my suspicions. <laughs> I like when you, when you hit in it, she's going to be talking about like systematic oppression and socialism. Nah, she going to pour you a drink. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, I don't think she'll do that, but. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> the ones I pick will pour you a drink. That's the, what the she right was way. doing before she got the That's game. right. She was a bartender. She was? Yeah. Wow. Hey. AOC. Don't mean she's going to pour you the right drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the things that we tend to notice within the lifestyle is that when you look at the occupations or the job fields of people that are in the job, mm-hmm. that are in the lifestyle as far as couples, they tend to be in the service industry. Oh, and, interesting. You know, whether it's, you know, a police officer, school teacher, lawyer, doctor, um, nurse, mm-hmm. or some type of form of giving to include politicians, or you know what I'm saying. So it shows that they have to have a freaky side. Going. <laughs> <laughs> it just gotta be in those real underground, top secret, yep. yeah, small and intimate gatherings. Yeah, That's like it. that eyes would. Eyes would. You might bump into our taboo, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. So one thing that I had said was like the lack of um, mediums where you hear men talking about sex, mm-hmm. let alone talk about the lifestyle. Um, and then I don't know if you r- realized it, but Mr. Jackson had came out and said, we I don't know if we're allowed to. Oh, I didn't hear that part. But um, if they're if, if black men are allowed to talk about sex. Right. Mm-hmm. So one question is, why do you think there isn't a lot of um, a, a lot of mediums where you see these kind of discussions being presented? Well, I think in a lot of popular culture, when you see or hear black men talking about sex, it is in the frame of denigration of black women. Mm-hmm. So. I could understand not necessarily wanting to talk about sex in fear that something would be misconstrued or taken mm-hmm. out of context um, that would seem offensive or degrading to black women. Okay. And okay. So basically like men talking about sex, there's a risk that it could be triggering. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, okay. So that's, that's interesting. I, I had that feeling, um, I had that feeling as well. Um, and so as we like go through this, I'll, (laughs) I'll ask you if there's, if there's anything, um, if there's anything triggering, but do you think that there needs to be more discussions, 
discussion about this? Like, as a woman, maybe it's not doesn't matter to you, but oh, I, I mean, I absolutely believe there should be more discussion about it. I mean, I, th- it, I think we shouldn't be talking about sex more in general, like black men and women, um, in a positive aspect, um, and outside of the realms of traditional monogamous marriage. Um, but yes, I, yes, there needs to be more discussion, more honest discussion about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you think that the, um, descriptions that the fellows gave of themselves was accurate? I think they were accurate. I would say Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson is more quarterback. I mean, he could be NBA too, but like if we're keeping with the football metaphor, yes, he, you know, Mr. Black's linebacker, Mr. Morris, the kicker, the punter, and Mr. Jackson is the quarterback. So uh, right now we're actually going to get into the meat of potatoes, potatoes of this thing. Cause this segment is actually when we really got into the questions that we got from the audience. Um, particularly a, a few questions had come from guys who were hoping to be in a lifestyle, how they can get their women more interested in a lifestyle and generally like what the dynamics are between women and men in and out of the lifestyle. So I'm going to be looking forward to hearing what you have to say about some of this. This next question comes from IG. So I'm a 28 year old black male interested in a lifestyle. However, my wife, a 28 year old black female only seems interested in it when she's horny. (laughs) What are some ways I can dabble in the LS with her or should I just leave the entire situation alone? Let me read this text exchange. (laughs) I'm not sure. Now I'm not sure to the degree to which this is actually him, but he, Sent this text exchange and it was gold from him. This is his uh, message to um, to her. Swingers do not have sex with everyone they run into, and it's not just a giant orgy. Protection is a must. That's in bold. I want to be a swinger, attend couples only resorts and swinger events and cruises as well with other black people. To which she responds, "Okay, you do that then." Emoji <laughs> kisses. Uh, you know, blowing out a kiss. Classic. So then he comes back. I want to do all this stuff with you. Okay, he involves her now. Um, we don't have to jump in head first. We can dabble here and there to see what it's like. To which she responds, but you don't get it. I don't want to do it. To which he responds, let's try something light with another couple of person. <laughs> we can start very slow. I hear only watching is a good way to get started. To which she says simply, no. <laughs> End of conversation. Oh, man. Like, what's the first thing you notice? The first thing, uh, I think he, he's a little, a little bit too aggressive on his mm-hmm. approach. Mm-hmm. I think he can keep his goals, his, his, his end game goals he should keep in, in his mind. If it's, I want to be a part of this lifestyle, keep that in the back of your mind. And this is where your your man game got to come in. Right? <laughs> yes, Mr. Moore. Go ahead. Keep going, brother. So, as I mentioned, hey, it's 2020. You got Pornhub. You got uh, uh, XNXX. I can let... I yeah, can, that's my second That's my second favorite. Look, there's I'm a whole bunch of sites. <laughs> you ain't even brought up the lifestyle yet. You just put on the flick. You do something like that. Are you by your lady... Some lingerie, and you have her wear that motherfucker for you, mm-hmm. and you start there, keep it sexy, and then um, one thing I will say is uh, you're 28, you ain't even reached 30, meaning she's not even at her peak, homeboy. So just sit it's back, fun. and give her some time, man. Like none of that tells her what's in it for her. Yes, That's none of that. Like it was all about him. It's all about him and what he wants. Like, yeah, he tried to, he tried to throw that Hail Mary that, yeah, but I want to do it with you, but it ain't like what's in it. You know what I mean? And, but mm-hmm. following up, I, I got issues with she only wants it when she's horny. Yeah. I'm like, is, yeah, like, same more. it sounds like she, you ain't making, you ain't something at home could be enhanced That's first. On. That's on you. You know what I mean? Like he said, lingerie, porn. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's it. So, something to enhance the the at home sexual experience. I think you said it earlier. Um, in regards to the term when you were saying that, you know, 
he looked at women as fucking or them getting it so like like it's this like is he's happening still to her. there and, and you know 100%. you gotta realize with a woman man sex starts before actual intercourse i mean way before it starts in the beginning of the day are you telling her you love her you kissing her you sending her dirty texts or whatever you got to be there mentally so that way when the physical happens it's already there yeah. i didn't mean to cut you off no man. like it but not to get repetitive like i think we drilled that part home mm-hmm. but like with this one it kind of like Gives you a real live example of what we be talking, what we were talking about before yes. in our previous yes. answers. Like she, she's saying yeah. she, only when she's horny. Like and first of all, she sent you the sassy like kissy emoji. Like, <laughs> you enjoy that? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's you. You got some work to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. That, that emoji. <laughs> once that emoji came out, like Google lifestyle Google. swing and shit. That that should have been the <laughs> end of that conversation. Yeah, yeah. I don't even Go. know. And again, we were talking about the younger cats now, uh, and then maybe this is how they communicate, but like, I don't even know if that's a text type question, man. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a, you know, a dinner conversation. Right point. No, this, or is, that's a, this is a, after- when I'm kissing between your legs and yeah, thighs. Yeah, you know, you say, yeah, like yeah. This, uh, Mr. Jackson. You got one, yeah. like, she should already be on the verge of when she wants it. Yep. Like when she wants to have that, when she wants to participate in it, yeah. we should try to be having a conversation with her about it. Yeah, I mean, or like, after you done smashed her into submission and and that and he, she's well satisfied, and then y'all just talking about yo, that was good. Yo, you you, if you ever want to try something a little different? Like just start talking about that. The swinger lifestyle, you yo, just remove stroke. that shit from your vocabulary. <laughs> like still hitting, you got to be talking to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I already been told any any question answered during sexual yeah, activity. But I feel is my avoided. I feel my man's pain though. It's like oh, I feel it. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Because I, it's so what 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 is different from I guess when when we started to to look into the lifestyle. There's just so much more information out there, well, that's and awesome. I think. For me, kind of coming into adulthood in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, for me, the example was like strip clubs and freak me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like, you got to know what she likes. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like she ain't the one. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to say that, but like, you got to know what she likes and enjoys. Like, man, my wife like nastier shit than me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> You know what I mean? So like, <laughs> like I was like, You're right? All right. You know what I mean? It's, but, but she likes she likes stuff. But like, if I couldn't like if 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 I didn't know that, that's real. And I'm pushing like, yo, you gotta like. She's like, what? Yeah, but like, none of that answers what I like. Yeah, that's. Great oh, point, good, great point, point. good point. Good point. You know what I mean? Like, it's he, he don't like, know her for the realest freak. Like, yeah. Yeah, he like might swinger shit. Might one, yeah. one comment could just be just a tweak of any of those comments yep. might be the the switch. Like, oh, make it better. but that, yo, that's and then that's what you engage. But what they is, this. Let me throw this to you, Mister Bomber. Let's let's just say he can't break her, man. Let's like <laughs> if he just fucking stuck. Like you, like you just live your life miserable. Like okay. I wonder. So about wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. So let me let me make sure we're clear about this situation. So let's say that this dude was in a relationship with a woman who didn't have that freak side at all. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Like, like what if like, she doesn't she's just break? A flat, she's just like, nah. Yeah. I'm going. I, you I'm know, going to a missionary all day. Wednesday is Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> like no. <laughs> no Let me night. tell you about what they did behind after Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> but no. But I mean, okay. There is a <laughs> you're sexually incompatible. with Right, uh-huh. that 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 exists. Yeah, you know what I mean. That, but that's real. So, I mean, it could be one of those situations. But I'm just telling the the talk track is just off. Yeah, yeah. Is. To yeah. even yeah. find but, that out, the fact that that's an actual text message. Too. Right. So I'll I'll say yeah, because the text message says nothing about her. So yeah. then we got we we know nothing about that All girl. But about if she was like Mr. Amor is saying. Just like a, a flat wooden board, no stains on it. Just like, yeah, Bible study, missionary only, <laughs> like, n- not even doggy style, nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I'm on my back and I'm just laying there. Yeah. Um, so what do you do in that situation? The, the, the thing I, you know, I say, you know, have, you know, that open communication. Maybe motherfuckers need to go to therapy. I don't know. Or, I mean, yeah, but like, if it's like, listen, I need this. In order to be happy, I need this level of sexual 
whatever you want to call it, to be happy in my relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe she's like, all right, you get to go. Yeah, well, like, I know she was joking with the emoji, <laughs> but hey, maybe that's where you need to take the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm okay. I'm just not at all and not at all interpreting right. that way. But it's possible. It's as, possible. As, yeah. we, mentioned be- give that any as we mentioned before, the lifestyle is not one thing. It's a it's a it's lot, lot of stuff yeah, in the yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean yeah. there's a there's so there's the alternative to hot wifing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's so, cold right? No, no. I mean, no. I mean. No. No, I mean, no, but it goes beyond lifestyle. I mean, it could oh, be yeah. like there could be Polly might be the fucking uh, solution. I don't. Yeah, we don't. Or she's just okay with him dating other women. Yeah, who knows? I'm just saying. Around. I'm just saying the communication of hey, look, I need this in my relationship. Same way you like, yeah, man, I can't live in the city. I need to be yeah. in the country. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's the there's sexual no person in our conversation. Are you? Yeah. So yeah, we did our best with that one. I hope that. But thank you for sending us um, that. Exchange, uh, IG fan, appreciate it. I just, uh, yeah, um, he just got to talk to him. Yeah. A little yeah. differently, Changes that's all. Approach. Yeah, that, yeah. Wait, and, and another thing, he's 28, bro. Yeah. Like, you need to give it a year or two. Yeah, maybe yeah. already fucked that up. Maybe, like, yeah, I, I just, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even <laughs> throw up. this. I would <laughs> never <laughs> even say the word swing, even if you're talking yeah. about that, sh- even if you talk about an actual swing, don't even use that word mm. around this girl no more. Um, yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta turn around. Yeah, you months. gotta, you gotta focus on what she likes, what she wants, and you can't make it sound like you're trying to get her to swing. Here's That's another all. bomb idea for you before we move on. Yo, take her out to, just go to a bomb ass hotel. It's in your city. You don't even have to leave your town. Just oh, that's a good idea. Just get I a like hotel that. room, a nice one. Just change your environment up, man. Put and some just, flowers around, or something. Yeah, man. Make mm-hmm. it sexy, and then yeah. try to have sex with the window open and put her against the glass. Yeah. <laughs> that one's gonna get more. Or like the nipples. Or just there. record it and then y'all watch it together. Yeah, nice. Like that. Give me like that. Point. Put it on point. Put it on point. <laughs> and check that one. Check that woman's Amazon Prime, man. She done order something to, <laughs> <laughs> that you don't know about. Yeah, ask her about her vibrator. She got one. <laughs> Listen, she man. probably got a whole. <laughs> yeah, I, she well, got I'm under the Bible. Yeah. I'm the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Moving on. All right. So that was the response to our first question. What did you think? <laughs> it was definitely some interesting. Uh, Interesting conversation. Nothing that uh, I don't think anything was too surprising. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. So Mr. Jackson's point was that women, that men were afraid of female sexuality, while I was saying that um, women were afraid to be judged by men about their sexuality. I don't think we were disagreeing with each other, but those were two different ways of looking at it right but i think they're two sides of the same coin i think both are happening um simultaneously so you know it's kind of like you know there's the saying you know a lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets but the freak in the sheets is just with you like just with her partner is the implied meaning but that's not always the case Mm -hmm. um and sometimes we won't be freaks in the streets too like you know it's like (laughs) why just gotta be in the bedroom um so i I mean i think it's a, a lot because women particularly black women you know because we fight stereotype uh so much we have this pressure to be this like virtuous classy woman um and particularly when we're looking at traditional relationships and so there is that fear of judgment that you know oh, i'm trying to find my good black man and you know if he knows that i want niggas to bust nuts in my face like i might lose him like you know what i'm saying like i might not he might be not be okay with that he or he might not know how to handle that um, and so I think a lot of the, us don't express those things, you know, early in the relationship or in the relationship at all, even though those are desires that we have um, in fear of the judgment that's there. The other part of that, I do think is the same thing is, you know, uh, particularly for black men who idolize their mothers um they put a lot of that on their wives and you don't want to see your mama get a dick slapped in her face like no 
nobody <laughs> wants to think about that they mama like anal sex. Like no one wants to think about that. Right. Um, so you know they want again they want this virtuous wife who may do some freaky shit with them, but she's not really about all this other you know really out there stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you know. They they may be apprehensive about, you know, their woman desiring that and not really not knowing how to handle that because these conversations aren't happening. Mm-hmm. You know, when your wife comes to, you know, the thing we hear all the time is you're like, you know, my wife likes girls. Look, men always want their woman to be into other women. Men always want their women to be bi. But like she's with you. So she probably likes dick. <laughs> and <laughs> she probably would like to like you know experience other dicks besides yours you know because yeah. she had dicks yeah. before you so she might want some other ones so, you know so getting out of that mindset that it's not just this one mm-hmm. sexual desire that she may have and allowing her that space and dealing with your own shit around that because just because you know your wife wants other men other women doesn't mean she's a hoe like doesn't mean she doesn't want to be in the relationship with you i mean mr black you know i think made a great point he was like yeah i want to have all these these other experiences but i i want to be with my wife like he that leaving her has never been um on his mindset but there are the opportunity for sexual exploration was something that they both needed um so yeah yeah no, um, so, so this goes back to the very first question I asked about like men getting together and having these conversations because, like you said, um, when men, you know, typically when we see men talking about sex just, you know, in mainstream, it's always like really kind of domineering and mm-hmm. sort of like uh, you'll hear Mr. Black say over and over again the idea that sex is something that happens to women rather than something that they experience. Um, and the thing that had the thing that I think about sometimes is like when it comes to our male peers, I I think oftentimes we're 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 imagining what our friends are thinking about our relationship and right. what the rela- what what sort of in their you know minds about the relationship between me and my woman and what i think is the assumption is that we want our peers our guys to understand that this woman is mine mm-hmm. um and she only wants me and you guys, you know, you guys can't have her, right? And mm-hmm. she doesn't want y'all anyway because she's mine, right? It's sort of that possessiveness <laughs> thing. Right. Um, and so I think for guys, we are um, the idea that our woman is interested in all of these other non traditional sexual things is something that doesn't quite fit that you know perspective of what you think your friends see in your relationship if you if you kind of so I, I know i'm rambling a bit now but what i'm trying to get you to understand is if your woman likes gang bangs that's something that you would not feel comfortable sharing right, with your, yeah. ma- your male friends not just because you're worried that oh they're going to try to smash her or oh they want to get in a gang bang with her it's more so because if she likes gang bangs that says something about you for choosing her mm-hmm. as a partner mm-hmm. um and so that's why I think these kinds of conversations between men are so important because I, I think we have to break that kind of thinking. Yeah. Um, all right. So I wanted to make sure I said that. The other thing I wanted to ask you about is uh, there was some discussion we had about um, lifestyle relationships versus like vanilla relationships. So again, this is something again that, that me and um, – uh, Mr. Black and maybe uh, Mr. Amor as well differed on where they would rather date in the lifestyle to find their partner mm-hmm. and if God forbid me and you split up I would not want to go into the lifestyle to find my partner yeah um, so I have a theory about why that is but I'll ask you like what what if we broke up where would you look for a male partner or female uh, partner i don't know maybe the lifestyle changed you a bit no i would never be with a woman that's that's too much <laughs> that's, 
Too many emotions, <laughs> too many feelings. Um, <laughs> I don't even like extra emotional men. So, <laughs> um, no. Um, but, uh, so would I date in the lifestyle or would I date vanilla? Yeah, or it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I think it does matter. I think, mm, I, th- I think I would, I think I would go the single female route. Mm-hmm. Um, because it would eliminate a lot of the other bullshit and it would allow for like like um mr jackson said like just a level of freedom to be yourself yeah um and so yeah i'll do that right although i haven't run into many single males that i actually like so that might be tough (laughs) single oh single males in the lifestyle right yeah interesting um (laughs) But like Jackson said, not looks wise, personality. Yeah, yeah, because there's there's a lot. I, I like when Mister Jackson <laughs> said, "Single males at times fumbled it in the vanilla life." Yeah, and they, they, now they're just looking for it, you know. Yeah. Um, but the reason why there's a couple of reasons why I'd rather meet my partner in the vanilla world, or I'd rather vanilla date. Um, but I don't know these these guys kind of. <laughs> tried to tell me like no it's not it's, it's not good you, you wouldn't like it um but there but there's a couple of reasons one because i know how to um mm-hmm. i know how to date vanilla i don't know how to date lifestyle mm-hmm. i don't know what that even looks like I, i'm not going on adult friend finders and looking for a partner <laughs> um um but i did understand what um what they said about just a life like dating in the lifestyle that date would just seem a lot more fun and a lot more Mm -hmm. like authentic because you're not hiding anything you're not meeting each other's representatives or anything like that right but when i date that is how i date vanilla right that's always how i dated vanilla like if you if i can't do the traditional vanilla date like by the second date i'm gonna know (laughs) <laughs> if you had a threesome like i'm yeah. gonna know about like i'm gonna know about some shit because if you're uncomfortable talking about it we're not making it to the third date mm-hmm. anyway yeah so um so good good points there okay that and inc- that concludes this part of um our reflections on the male panel um stay tuned for the next part um we're gonna try to get these out to you guys as soon as we can um Clearly, um, folks have time to listen. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and um, we will be delivering more content soon. Peace. Black and kinky, black and kinky, black and kinky lifestyle.